David Hodges has been exposing issues with cats for two years. As he has reported, cats has a new contract with two security companies that starts in July. Within two years, we're told that will double the amount of security and in some cases that will include riding buses and light rail. Cats is also expanding an ambassador program made up of people who can help answer rider questions and it plans to expand its de-escalation training for operators. But even with these plans for improvement, tumultuous times have continued, even in the six months since interim CEO Brent Cagle was put in charge. Our investigative reporter David Hodges is here now. And David, what is really going on at Cats? Are things actually improving at Charlotte's transit system? I asked that exact question of Cagle today, and it's a question that members of the Metropolitan Transit Commission are also asking. That commission is made up of mayors across Mecklenburg County, and they're starting to show their frustration, including that WBT viewers like you at home watching right now are getting the latest news about cats even before they do. At the Metropolitan Transit Commission meeting Wednesday, Davidson Mayor Rusty Knox read a carefully crafted statement that conveyed one clear message, frustration. Just yesterday, as I was getting ready for my town board meeting, I found out via a news reporting app on my phone that the chief of rail operations had been placed on administrative leave. The mayor is talking about my report from Tuesday, breaking the news that Katz general manager of rail operations, Deltron Harris, was placed on paid administrative leave. I asked Katz interim CEO Brent Cagle about why Harris was placed on leave. I am not at liberty to discuss uh, personnel or HR matters. Cagle has promised more transparency at Katz, but now Knox says the problems are more systemic. He claimed that mayors in Mecklenburg have no meaningful authority on the MTC that approves Katz's budget and directs its policies. This can't be a funding mechanism for Charlotte. If we are to be partners in public transit, it, then we should be treated as such. Mayor Knox called for a new agreement between Charlotte and local towns to govern cats or face failure in its bigger regional plans. But smaller problems still persist. Cagle also announced recent violations at Cats Rail Yard brought by state regulators. Maintenance to repair the problem that caused a May 2022 train car derailment will take 12 months to fix half the fleet. Add in a shooting, a stabbing, and more personnel holes to fill. Cagle and Katz have a plate full of problems. Do things need to keep getting worse before they get better at Katz? Um, so that's a loaded question, David. Um, I agree. So things are getting better at Katz. I have seen Katz make improvements. Um, sometimes that get, gets lost in, in these incidents. Um, but but I am encouraged that Katz is moving forward um, in, in small and, and big ways every day. Um, this, is, this is fixable, right? We, we're moving forward and uh, I'm encouraged by that. To end on a positive note, there is this new working group committee that's made up of Charlotte council members and mayors on this MTC board that's working to fix Katz issues. And the report on that tonight was largely positive that there's starting to be more transparency and a path forward. But as Mayor Knox made clear in his speech tonight, the hole that Katz has to dig out of is pretty deep. Reporting in Charlotte, David Hodges, WBTV on your side. David, thank you. If you want to see David's investigations into cats, they are streaming on demand right now on the WBTV News app on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV. The app is free. Just look for cats off the rails.